And you're probably oh. <laughs> uh, know where you're going, and you'll uh, wear uh, where you'll be with, who oh. you'll be with. Who you'll be. With. <laughs> I was going to say what you'll wear. No, who you'll be with. Although that's important too. <laughs> also, another important part that should be included in your planning: How are you going to get home? Beverly Taylor reports on what you should not do. These are the vivid reminders of what could happen on the roadways when a drunk driver is behind the wheel. The vehicle can become an out of control missile. Have a plan and avoid all this. Why would you want to start 2012, January 1st of 2012, inside of a jail cell or in a hospital? or in the more. The numbers don't even tell the whole story. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark held a news conference reminding people to take drunk driving seriously. Too many people die because of it, and the sheriff doesn't want it to be you. There's nothing wrong with consuming alcohol in and of itself. It's that deadly combination of then getting behind the wheel of an automobile. That's why Clark says have a plan. Know how you'll get from point A to point B without getting behind the wheel if you'll be drinking. The sheriff says his department certainly has a plan. 33 squads will be monitoring the freeway system around Milwaukee County, many equipped with this small carrying case that holds an intoximeter or a portable breathalyzer. The average breath alcohol content or BAC from those arrested is 0.15. That's nearly twice the legal limit. Besides the sheriff's department squads, there will be another 55 squads from area municipalities monitoring the side streets. It's part of the Southeast Regional OWI Task Force. We will literally have a dragnet on the roadways on New Year's Eve. And so if you plan on winging it on New Year's Eve, you plan on rolling the dice, I'll tell you right now, you're going to get your wings clipped. Clark says since 2008, the task force has arrested almost 5,000 people. But he says many more people engage in drunk driving than are actually caught. Another tip for you sober drivers, wear your seatbelt. You'll have a much better chance of surviving a crash with a drunk driver. Live in the newsroom, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Beverly. Win or lose in the regular season, the regular season is going to wrap up on Sunday. and The Packers are heading for the